Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Yes, I love you, Vanessa, but I must leave you. Huh? <laughs> and who's going to spend the whole night with his favorite toy? Me! 
Everybody is all snug and warm inside. Uh? <laughs> Victoria! Oh, my poor little Vic! Meow. You spent the whole night outside? Meow. Yeah. Really? This time you went too far, Sam. with my toy. That was dumb. Shall we make up? Okay, Sam. You win. It's all yours. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> but if you were a real cat, you would know that real cats never give up. <laughs> uh, you okay, Vic? Come back in for his snack. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> Guys. Hey, Sam, what are you doing there? I'm hiding. I can't leave the room. Hiding? But hiding from what? Where's your disguise? It disappeared. Help. Hmm. But we can still see her behind. That's what happens when you cross me. I'll give Sam back his costume. But under one condition. Which is? That Sam agrees to let me keep the acorn. Forever. Whatever you want, Dick, but hurry up! Follow me. <sighs> the costume is under there. <laughs> no, it's not! Hmm. Unless I hit it behind the TV? We've turned the whole house upside down and still no costume. All right, so at least we know it's not in the house, which limits our possibilities to... The rest of the world? Shall we have a cup of tea in our room? Oh, this doesn't look good. Do you mind telling us what you're doing under there, Sam? Uh-oh. Hey, come on, you big oaf, you. What's wrong with him? He seems frightened of something. If I have to take apart the entire bed to save our darling Sam, well, then I will. Well said, darling. Let's quickly go get your toolbox. Um, we seem to have a bit of a problem. Hold on a sec, guys. No time for small talk, Eugenie. We've got a costume to find. Sam, whatever you do, stay here. It's all over for me, Wash. You guys have done your best, but I've come to the end of the <gasps> line. Please. Take care of you, Jeannie, my dear little sister. I'll never forget any of you. Never, ever. Ah! I'm the guilty one. I saw Vic hide his costume under the sofa and I took it. Because all Sam could think of was his acorn and he no longer wanted to play with us. I really messed up. <laughs> what? What did you do? It's all my fault. Yeah, I should have never played so much with that stupid acorn. <laughs> Sam, we've come to save you. Oh, no, the living stones. There's no choice. I have to unzip. 